do you worry about any past things you've done as you are you not try not to do that either not unless there's something i can do to fix it no um i mean it, it, no i don't i i um and, and that's a trick it's not an easy thing to do but i'm a big believer in i'm uh i'm a big believer in it is never any time but now and it never will be sure. it has never been any time but now and if you live in the past or you live in the future you can do nothing about those things. Okay, here's a perfect example. I love this. Let's say, and, and this, is, this, is, this is how PTSD works. This is how PTSD fucks people over. And by the way, the major, PTSD is, is uh, very well known for people who have been in combat. Yeah. But there are far, far, far more victims of PTSD who have simply been abused physically sure. or, or emotionally, especially yeah. in childhood. Yeah. And so there are a lot of PTSD sufferers walking around who, who were never in the military. I just want to say that. But here's what happens. Let's say that you're, um, you're walking, you know, whatever. You're walking home. You get attacked by a couple of thugs and they beat you up. You know, not horrible. They beat you up. They take your stuff. You, you have to walk home. You, have to, you go to a hospital, whatever. You're okay. But it haunts you. It haunts you. It haunts you for the rest of your life, right? So here's how I, th I think a, a part of how that works is that we do this to ourselves all the time. It's, it's, it's a large version of a small thing that we all do to ourselves. One day I was sitting here, this was like two weeks ago, I was sitting here trying to get some work done in my office, but there were some workers in the house finishing up this, this little renovation project we had going. And they were walking through the room, they were asking me questions, they were making noise, and it was driving me crazy all day long. And so I couldn't <laughs> wait, I was like, I just want, can I just have, a half hour of peace and quiet to get something done. Okay. So let's jump to six o'clock at night where I go, I go up to, I have a rooftop patio. I live in Mexico and I have a rooftop patio and I can see the whole town from here and it's beautiful. And the sun goes down and the whole town turns golden. And I have all my plants and my, my comfortable little chairs and I'm smoking a joint and I'm having a cocktail and I'm watching the sun go down. And I'm thinking about how pissed off I was all day that those workers were here. Finally, I have the thing I was asking for, 30 minutes of peace. And what do I do? I spend it reliving the aggravation of the day. And this is what happens in PTSD is you can't wow. stop reliving the terrible day. So you didn't get mugged once. You get mugged every day for as many years as you play this game in your head, as you sure. allow it to happen. And I'm not saying it's easy to get rid of. It, it takes some effort, but yeah. that's the thing that we do to ourselves all the time. This is the point of being present right now in this moment. I am not being attacked. I'm not being insulted. I'm not starving. I'm happy. I'm just sitting here comfortably talking to you, yeah. having a conversation. Why shouldn't I enjoy this moment to its fullest, regardless of what happened before and regardless of what might happen an hour later or next week or next month or next year. So that's the beauty of being in the moment is that you're only here doing this now. That's, that's, that's one of the beauties of be here now, I think, um, that I like to, that I just employ. I haven't always been good at this. <laughs> of course. Of I course. spent 20 years being irritable and anxious and on antidepressants. Well, actually I spent 15 years being irritable and anxious. And then I spent, and then I got on antidepressants, spent another 20 years, um, just trying to pretend everything was okay because I felt okay-ish, but I really had not yet learned to really be present and appreciate this moment for whatever it is and not let my ego get all bent out of shape and not let my fear get to me so that I'm anxious as hell about what am I going to do for this and that and the other. Um, there's, there's just, a, and it takes time. This is the beauty of old days. In fact, I'll tell you a secret, which you'll, which you'll, which we all will be discovering very soon. Getting everything about getting older is better, except your body, what it does to your body. That's the only thing. It's the only bad part of old age is that your body starts to betray you. It doesn't sure. work like you expected it to. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't do what it used to do. You know, it hurts longer than it used to after you fall <laughs> out of a chair. You fall out of more chairs than you used to. Yeah. <laughs> just, your, your body doesn't work the way it used to, but everything else is great. It's like the wisdom that you get, the accumulated knowledge, the accumulated sense of what's important. At, you know, you, you start to drop the bullshit 
it's it's a it's a it's a really beautiful thing. And, I agree, and it should be cherished instead of yeah. dreaded. Sure, it should be cherished instead of dreaded. Yeah, I agree with all that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. just start to get, you just start to focus a little bit more, and you know, put put out the noise. The noise doesn't matter so much. Yeah, right? and it, and it happens. You know, it happens throughout your life. I mean, you're forty yeah. something now, and you're and you're a much you're a much wiser person than you were at twenty, of course. than you were twenty years ago. Of course. Um, and and of course that 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 just continues to happen as long as you. But but I'm, I mean, part of it is you've got to keep your your brain alive. You've got to keep your heart open. Um, there's a lot to there's a lot to improving your life. Um, it it doesn't happen if it doesn't happen if you sit around and worry and complain. You're not gonna you're not gonna improve your life. You're gonna be ah oh here's here's one of my favorite sayings. I have a lot of favorite sayings. <laughs> here's one of them. <laughs> um, the way you spend your day is the way you spend your life. And it's wow. the truth. It's that the is truth. the truth. That it's is absolutely the truth. Every day is a microcosm of what you're going to, uh, the way you're going to spend your life. So 100%. make your day worthwhile. Do like you're doing something you like right now. You're enjoying this podcast. You do those things. If you were behind a counter at Wendy's, I could tell you, do you want to spend your life behind the counter at Wendy's? And that's not to say you need a better job. It's just, is behind the counter at Wendy's feeding your soul? Exactly. Maybe it is. Yeah. I mean, it could yeah. totally, it could totally. Somebody Wait a second. Like, Which side of the counter am I on? <laughs> You're behind um, it. Am I, not am I buying of, it? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. On both, right. on both yeah. sides, you've got some problems in the long run. But I mean, of course, I do not. Uh, listen, we're t the Lone Star Plate. I'm a chef. I'm all about the good food. So the, yeah, that was okay. a joke for sure. Oh, there you go. So, but like, <laughs> no, I mean, that's the other thing is that you could turn a job behind the counter at Wendy's into something that is meaningful to you. you there could, are happy people like that, right? No, I get, I totally get what you're saying. I got it. You could be a greeter at Walmart, whatever. You could be a sure. person who connects, who connects in a loving way with every person you meet and, and behind the counter at a fast food restaurant, you're going to meet 70, 725 people a day. And, and you're going to spread that love and, you know, that energy, that good energy all day long. Yeah. And that can be a great, that can be a great life. But if you're in there right. just slinging burgers and can't wait to get home and play video games, that's not feeding your soul, man. That's not a place you should be. Sure. So and that's is, most people's life, right? Essentially, let's be real. Yeah. If you're constantly thinking about somewhere else that you'd yeah. rather be, yeah. not in the right place. Sure. And you're also not, and you're also not treating the place you are in the best way you could. That's a great point too. That, yeah. That's a that's actually a great point too. I've I've always said that in jobs I've had or you know I've always been in the restaurant industry for the most part. So yeah, I mean for fifteen almost twenty years now. Um, that that's the thing. It's like um, if I have to be here, right? I'm going to do my best. I'm going to care. That's the attitude I took. Um, I always did. There you go. And it always helped. It always got me to do, it got me to the point where I was able to do what I love. So, you know, you kind of got to do those things. It's, it's, yeah, because again, like you said, I really like that saying, I'm going to, I'm going to steal that. Uh, you know, what, what was it? The one day is your life. If whatever, you know, the day you're living is, is your life or sort of. Yeah. You, I love that. The way you spend your day, the way you spend your day is the way you spend your life. The, the way you spend your days, the way you spend your life. Okay, that'll stick with me now. Yeah, that's a perfect, that's it.